with the 10 year anniversary of 9-11 swiftly approaching, I can still tell you exactly what I did that day. When the attack happened, I was asleep in this room. I was immediately woken by my brother-in-law, Jimmy, who showed me the news broadcast of the planes crashing into the Twin Towers. Then I received a page from my work. Yes, back then we had pagers, no cell phones. Well, there were a few of them, but they were still pretty expensive. And I was called in to evacuate the Department of Public Works. I still have the uniform I wore that day. I'm a security officer, or at least I was. And once the Department of Public Works was properly evacuated, I was sent to Lucian Technologies. I spent the day there guarding against, I guess, what you would call terrorist attack. I remember thinking that it was all crazy, that there'd never be a secondary attack on the same day, and I guess I was right. But that was a day that should have shaken up America. I just don't believe it did. I mean, I see at the airports the, the greater level of screening. I understand that business, and it's appropriate. Mismanaged, poorly done, in my opinion, and my opinion is very professional, but I can tell you that for us guards, I mean, this year, last year now, I was protecting a facility that made parts for those airplanes. And I was replaced with a man who made 50 cents less an hour. So yeah, I remember 9-11. I remember 9-11 as the day nobody bothered to wake up. Everybody decided they needed to take security seriously. But nothing has really changed for security officers in this country. We're still thought of as useless and lazy and not worth the money put into us. And, well, perception tends to drive reality. If you believe your guards can't do the job, they can't.